If you are looking for the best possible jump shots for every single three-point rating and every single height in NBA 2K25, well, look no further. Aqua has labbed up the best possible jump shots for every single build in 2K25, and I'm here to bring them to you. YouTube, what is good with challenge? is 2K made. Aqua here, you already know, back with another banger video, bro, today. I'm gonna be showing y'all the best jump shots in NBA 2K25, so stay tuned because these jump shots are absolutely crazy. And to be honest, you will not be missing no shots, bro. I'm telling you right now, these are the best and most certified jump shots in the game, and they will literally have you getting open every single play, and when you're open, you are never gonna miss another three. But yeah, so before we get into this, all I do ask if you like this video, Go down below, give your boy a subscription. But first off, we're gonna want to go to our controller settings right here because I always recommend to change your shot time and profile to high risk reward. High risk reward is the best in the game. Okay, let me go over here. Jump shot timing considerably affects the shot outcome with a higher chance of making shots with a great timing, but also a higher chance to miss with poor timing. So if you can't time your jump shots, put on normal risk reward right now. But if you can time your jump shots really good and you've been a consistent shooter over the past couple of years in 2K24, 2K23, I would recommend high risk reward. This is green or miss. Okay. So so green or miss on normal you can make whites but your green window will not be like as big as this one is and you will not get rewarded for greening your shots as much but yeah so moving that out of the way let's get right into these jump shots and for small guards if you are a small guard six to four under i have three jump shots for y'all right here so as you see the first one this is the jump shot that i've been using all year bro all year on 2 25 on my small guard i have been using this jump shot right here and this is stephen curry's base stephen curry's base is always one of the best bases in the game y'all already know stephen curry is one of the best bases always bro good Low reliable Steph Curry base is probably the best base in the game right now for small guards. I know a lot of people they said they like like Cam Thomas stuff like that, and you can't get Patty Mills yet. You have to be starter for to get Patty Mills, so you can't even unlock the good jump shots yet. So Steph and Curry release one is Oscar Robertson, and upper release two is Oscar Robertson. The visual cue for visual cues on all these jump shots, you will see I like to use like push and release. In between push and release, it's always going to be on like push or release, but I like to use push or release on all these because when the ball gets to the top of your head, that is when you're going to want to release the ball, and it will be green every single time trust me it will literally be green every single time so yeah the first jump shot is stephen curry oscar oscar once again the release speed is two force okay this is not up all the way you see the release speed in the bottom right is a plus already and it's only two force so this is also a very quick jump shot okay so if you do like faster jump shots you can put it up faster personally i feel like this is all you need animation blending is 50 percent oscar and 50 percent oscar once again and that is the best first jump shot on this list so stephen curry is number one on this list number two is Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving's jump shot is also very chicken, one of the best small guard bases in the game. Just look at how fluent and how good this looks. Now, Kyrie Irving, one of the best bases I just said. I love to use push on this jump shot. Okay, you're going to see a trend, bro. Push is the best in the game. So when the ball gets above your head, that's when you're going to want to release it. And you will be green every single time. Trust me, you will be green literally every single time. But yeah, so I am using release speed of four to four. I maxed up the release speed on this one because it's a little bit of like a slower jump shot. All you need is an 88 mid range or an 88 three pointer to equip this jump shot and the animation blending on this is 60 percent curry and 40 percent brawny james once again upper release one is stephen curry and upper release two is brawny james brawny james jr surprisingly he has a chicken jump shot this year i'm not really sure how he has a chicken jump shot but brawny james jr well that jump shot is low-key chicken bro so yeah jump shot number two is kyrie irving stephen curry and brawny james and just to show that i am actually good at this game let me back out here real quick and let me go you see i'm a red panel let me go to my stats real quick look at these stats bro i have a 92.9 win percentage 48 percent from three which is considered very good this year and 57 from the field trust me you can cook with these jump shots and i've been using all these jump shots on my builder here you see i'm on my six foot three builder here i haven't used this really like lately a lot but this is about my main build mostly the whole year so that is jump shot number two it was curry the first one and then kyrie irving the second one so jump shot number three now is cameron thomas cameron thomas is probably the fastest jump shot in the game right now cameron thomas base is so chicken bro and this is what all the comp stage guards are using right here cameron thomas this is literally every single stage guard in this game they are using cameron thomas's base cameron thomas oscar robertson and oscar robertson once again release speed is quick push i'm using push on this once again when it gets above your head you want to release it and it will be green literally every single time when i say all the stage guards are using this literally every single stage guard in the game is using this jump shot right here this is probably the most chicken jump shot if you like fast jump shots okay personally i don't like the overkill fast jump shot so i'm not going to equip this but if you like the very overkill fast jump shots this is perfect for you release speed is three fourths and animation spending is 50 50 once again this is the same but look at the release high a plus release speed a plus this jump shot has a's all around all you have to do is be under 6.5 to equip this mid range of an 89 or a three pointer of an 89 
and you can get this chicken jump shot. Now, for all of my tall guards out here, here are some jump shots for y'all. So the first one right here, I've been using this mainly. This is my main number one jump shot that I've been using all year. Y'all know I dropped a short on this. It has like 200k views. This is probably the best, most chicken jumper in 2K25 for tall builds, 6'5 to 6 foot 10. So you see the base is Jalen Tyson and Jalen Tyson's base. This is literally Patty Mills' base for 2K24 and 2K25 on a tall guard. It is a mix between Patty Mills and Tracy McGrady. This jump shot right here, let me tell you, this jump shot is secretly hidden cheese, bro. Jalen Tyson base, the best base in the game. Upper release one is Sadiq Bay and upper release two are Sadiq Bay. Sadiq Bay is the best. Oscar Robertson is really good for small guards. It's still good on tall guards, but Sadiq Bay is probably the best for tall guards. I love it. It makes your jump shot so much faster, so much more consistent. So if you are six, five to six foot ten, look for a chicken jump shot right here. This Jalen Tyson base will not fail you, bro. As once again, I am using push and release in between push and release. Release speed three fourths and animation blending of 50 50. Once again, release height C plus, release speed A, definitely B minus, and a timing stability of a C plus. All you need is an 80 one mid range or 81 three pointer to equip this jump shot but personally this is jump shot number one if you were a tall guard on the list now jump shot number two this is jared culver jared culver's base is very good and has been very good for like three years now okay this is almost like jt thor if you played 2k23 reminds me just of jt thor or even tracy mcgrady if you played last year this is really like a replica of knockoff tracy mcgrady it is so very good so yeah jared culver's base the marta rosen release one and charles basie release two okay the jump shot speed visual cue is pushed the release speed is four four and animation blending is 25 percent the rosen 75 percent charles okay release height a plus release speed a minus definitely d plus and a timing stability of a d plus those ratings really don't matter besides the release speed and release type really none of those matter to be honest i haven't seen definitely or timing stability like really impact this year until we see a 2k labs report i'm just saying they don't matter bro so yeah, you do need a 75 mid range or 75 three pointers so if you have a low shooting build you can equip this and go crazy with it now jump shot number three on this list is matt ryan and matt ryan Patty Mills base. This is like Patty Mills base, but for tall guards. Okay. So if you like Patty Mills from last year, on a tall guard, it will be. So Patty Mills base from last year in 2K24, you had to unlock it by hitting like starter three. What it was, I don't know what it's called last year, but it was like starter three. But yes, yeah, so you had to unlock it by hitting that. And a lot of people weren't able to get it. So if you do want Patty Mills and you weren't able to get it last year, Matt Ryan is a very good alternative. No, not the quarterback for the Falcons. This is Matt Ryan, a random in the NBA. I don't know who he is, but it's probably some random white player, bro. So yeah, Matt Ryan, Isaac Bonga, and Sadiq Bay. The release visual cue is push release speed three fours animation blending of 42 percent isaac bonga and 58 percent sadiq bay very chicken once again and the final jump shot on this list for six five to six foot ten builds right here is bismack biombo bismack biombo is very good for all my poppers out there low three point ratings this jump shot may look very ugly but trust me it is very chicken bismack biombo Cade Cunningham, Charles Bassey. The release speed I'm using on this is in between set point and push. The only jumps on this list basically with set point and push, besides like some center ones probably. But yeah, release speed four fourths and a mission of 80% Cade and 20% Charles. Release speed A. All you need is a 68 mid range or a 68 three pointer to equip the jump shot. And that means that this jump shot is going to be absolutely chicken because why would you not want to do that? This is probably one of the most chicken jump shots in the game for small three point rating, for low three point rating builds. Okay, you really don't need any three point mid range at all. Only a 68. And now the last two jump shots on this list are for all of my tall builds 6, 10, and above. Okay, so first off, Jarrah Allen base. Bam out of bio release one and bam out of bio release two. Release speed is very quick because you need a very quick release on a tall build or else you will get contested probably easier. We're using push, just straight up push on this and animation blending is 50-50. Once again, same upper releases. Jared Allen base for all my tall builds. They are chicken, but Jared Allen is so good. And of course, Jared Allen's a shooter. So you already know this is going to be chicken. And it looks pretty fluent too. It's not like that bam out of bio one that I showed you earlier. This actually looks very fluent for tall builds. So if you are 6, 10 and above, you have a 77 mid range or 77 three pointer. Make sure to try this jump shot out right here. It is very certified, very chicken. And the second one is also Jared Allen, but this has a different release one and release two. So different release one. I'm not even trying to pronounce the guy's name, okay? I'm not gonna lie. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the guy's name. I'm gonna butcher it, bro. But Bam the Bio is upper release two. Release speed very quick. 50 50 blending. Once again, we're using straight push and release speed four to four. All you need is a 70 mid range or 73 point. If you have anything below that, I really wouldn't be shooting on a build because it would be very inconsistent, especially in NBA 2K25. And especially even if you're rhythm shooting, it will still be very inconsistent, bro. But yeah, those are the best jump shots in NBA 2K25. If you like this video, go down below, give your boy Aqua a subscription. But yeah, that is all for me. This 2K made Aqua, and I'm signing out. Peace with y'all, boys.